based in a national park called the Lower Zambezi National Park, which is um, right opposite Mana Pool's World Heritage Site, which is in Zimbabwe, so it's got quite a nice view. Um, it's relatively new because our owner bought it in 2004 um, and it finished building it in 2007, so we've been commercial since 2009 and I've been there ever since. Um, so yeah, I was very lucky that I was there to set it all up and I've been there for six years now. Yeah. So yeah, I love it. The unique thing about the Lower Zambezi National Park compared to a lot of other national parks in Africa is that it has so many different activities that you can do. Um, it used to be president's land, so it was protected. So one of the newer national parks in Zambia. Um, so we have a wonderful array of animals there. Um, and we have a mountain, mountainous escarpment behind us. So we have the mountains, the bush, and the river, the Zambezi River. So we have a natural animal corridor going all the way through. So we've got fantastic game for game drives in the morning, evening, um, and afternoon. And also um, bush walks we can do. So like a lot of people go to South Luangwa for walking safaris. We're also doing them in the Lower Zambezi now, which is great. Um, also, because we have the, the river, we have fishing, so we can do fly fishing, um, course fishing, we do canoe trips, uh, which is very zen, um, a lovely activity. Actually, most people's highlight after they've been to, to stay. The one they're most nervous about before they do it, but the highlight at the end. Um, and also boat cruisers, so you can go around the islands and, and look at the lodges. It's not a malaria-free area, um, although it's unlikely you would get it from where we are, because there aren't a lot of people. Um, so I would recommend if you're coming from overseas to take a, a prophylactic, um, but it's not, it's not high density, so it's unlikely you'll get it from the area. Zambia itself is actually quite famous for its people. Um, they're extremely friendly people anywhere you go in Zambia. Uh, our lodge in particular, you know, I've worked with our guys, I've pretty much got the same guys from when I started. Um, so we do have a very family kind of atmosphere within the lodge. So myself and the staff, we all get on very well behind the scenes, which is, which is lovely. Uh, we do have a lot of repeat guests who do say that it has got that feel of a home away from home, which is nice. Um, because we're very flexible with all, our, all of our activities, um, they can kind of come and go whenever they want to, so it's not on a strict regime. Um, so they have their own private boats and vehicles. We don't eat dinner all together on one table though, so you can come and go at, at your own leisure. So it is very, very relaxed in, in that way. Ethiopia Airlines, they fly in via Ethiopia. We've got Emirates that fly in via Dubai. We've got Kenya Airways via Nairobi. We've got um, British Airways down to South Africa and then up from Joburg. South African Airways via Joburg. Um, there's no direct flight at the moment from, from the UK. Hopefully, fingers crossed, BA will fly into Big Falls next year. Um, but at the moment, you've got to go via um, Kenya, Ethiopia, and um, Dubai, or, or South Africa. There's a lot of um, flights actually now leaving Lusaka to other countries around Zambia, which are helping to increase um, Zambia as a destination in terms of packaging. Um, so that's great. I and mean, we've got Rwanda Air are now flying between Rwanda and Lusaka. So we're having a few, um, a few agents that are now coupling um, Rwanda, the gorillas, and, and a bush holiday with us. And because we have the water, they don't feel it necessary that they have to go to a beach afterwards. So. Um, it's kind of a one-stop destination, the Lower Zambezi. There's something there for everybody, which is, which is great. The website is www.royalzambezilodge.com.